Okay. So now you can see that the, why I we focus so much on neuroradiology. Neuroradiology is very important and we need it to understand the uh, pathophysiology of the tumors. Okay. Whether they are enhancing or not, whether they are uh, high grade or not, whether they are low grade. So all these things that have to be understood when we are doing the uh, evaluation of the tumors. So T1 contrast, this is the T1 image. Okay. As I told you, the CSF in the center, which is very dark, will be within the ventricle C, T, uh, T will be, the CSF will be dark. In T2, I told you CSF will be very bright. Okay. And uh, there is a tumor here. You can see there is a large dark area on the left hand side, left uh, hemisphere. Okay. That is actually the tumor here. And it is pushing the brain to the other side, causing midline shift. You can see the uh, asymmetry of the ventricles. Okay. Similarly, it is translated into T2 weighted sequence. In T2, I told you CSF will be very bright and tumor is also bright in T2. It is dark in T1 and bright in T2. This is classical. Okay, This is how they are. But how much do we know whether the tumor is causing any edema or not? So for to understand that, what we do is we subtract the CSF by another plane, Okay, another sequence, what we call it as a flare sequence. It is usually done in T2 weighted in images. It is fluid attenuation, inversion recovery image. Okay, So we minus all the CSF, whatever fluid that remains, the sh shadow that remains at the periphery, you can see a white rim. That tells us it's the edema fluid and that is the exudate. Okay, So it will give us an idea about the status of the brain and the tumor and what it is doing. And you see T1 post contrast in the last panel here. You can see that there is a, a bright spots in the periphery of the a brain which are the which are telling us that there is gadolinium and you can also see on the left hand side there is again a dark similar to t1 only that means there is no contrast enhancement in this tumor contrast enhancement can be heterogeneous they can be uniform they can be patchy they can be peripheral okay so when that is there we, we the radiologist will tell us that there is leaking of the dye that means there is vascularity increased and you can see there's a breach in the blood brain barrier and you can tell that this is a high grade glioma whenever we see enhancement 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 in a diffuse glioma we are probably dealing with a high grade glioma in this particular case it is t1 hypo intense t2 hyper intense and there is some edema on the flare pushing causing a midline shift but there is no contrast enhancement in the last one all are in the axial planes okay we don't have any coronal nor sagittal planes okay in one plane we are able to measure the dimension of the tumor so this is most likely a glial neoplasm probably a low grade glioma Okay, that's the most common. It's in the occupying the temporal and part of the sorry, frontal and part of the occipital, uh, the temporal lobe. Frontal is in the front, and the temporal comes on the side in this axial axial view. So if you go to the next, now this is the what we call it as a contrast enhancement. You can see the beautiful ring or the um, uh, the periphery. You can see the brightness. Okay, and the center there is a dark area. The dark area is actually the necrotic area. Okay. And the area that is enhancing beautifully around the lesion, that is that is called as post-contrast enhancement. Okay, That means this is a high-grade glioma. Most of the time when we call it as a ring enhancement is what the term used by neuroradiologists. And we know that this is a hallmark feature of high-grade glioma, most likely a glioblastoma. And on the right, on the other hand, other side, you are having the same picture in the axial plane of the another autopsy case. You can see that in the center on the right hand side, you can see there is a area which is looking not healthy. If you compare to the opposite side, you can make a difference. You can tell the difference. But there is some rarefied softening area in the center with the hyperemic zone. This is the area where the tumor is present. Okay. So this is how they equate grossly and the neuroradiologically. So, in a way, neuroradiology forms the gross surrogate for us in neuropathologists. Okay? So, it is right in the insular cortex here and you can see it is pushing the brain to the other side. Okay? The anteriorly, the white portion where, where the, the division of the, the two hemispheres end, that large thick band running across, that is the corpus callosum. Okay? It is anteriorly also see a little bit, you can come in behind in the posterior aspect also, where you are seeing the uh, occipital horn of the lateral ventricle, below that the white structure in the center posteriorly, that's also corpus callosum. All right?
and uh, if you go here you can see that when you do a biopsy why a post contrast imaging is uh, sorry why do we need imaging enhancement is uh, sorry uh, mri image information is required see for example when you're doing our uh, frozen section and you can see this structure here and what all you can see is there is a little bit of a cells here that look uh, hypocellular tumor is there but without having the information about the mri you would one would call this as a low grade glioma okay and on the left hand side if you see compare and you see what is the tumor doing on imaging you can see that this is a very beautiful area of enhancement it is involving both the right and left hemisphere what we call it as a classical butterfly glioma okay so this means that is a high grade glioma which is most likely a gpm and the biopsy taken by the surgeon is not representative so that is why we have to tell the surgeon that there is a discordance between the sample you have taken and what the tumor is actually seeing so there will be discrepancies like this occur all along so if you are aware that this can exist then you can guide the surgeon intraoperatively to give a better sample and the uh, discrepancy can be resolved okay